Today we're changing an air conditioning compressor on a 96 Ford Explorer. In this step I'm going to demonstrate the proper service procedure for piercing your refrigerant can, firing the engine and beginning the charging process. Now what you're going to need to do is take and tighten this valve down until it fully seats into this ceiling plate. There's a ceiling plate right there in the top. The end of this valve rod is actually super sharp and it will pierce into this can. You're then going to unscrew the valve to release the pressure back into the system. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now for you. Right there. We're going to go ahead and back our valve off. And there you go. You can hear the charge actually entering into the air conditioning system. From here I'm going to take and fire up the engine and let the compressor draw in refrigerant. What you're going to do is take and start the vehicle's engine. You're going to set the heating, ventilation, air conditioning controls to maximum air conditioning, maximum cold, maximum fan. You're going to listen for the compressor to cycle on and off and you're going to continue rocking and agitating this can. Once the can is completely empty, we're going to hold it upside down for approximately one minute. At that point in time, you'll go ahead and continue charging by switching out your cans. Okay, we have approximately half of the can left in our third can, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect it from the system and reinstall the charge port cap. And there you go. That is the proper service procedure for charging your vehicle's air conditioning system.